come along as we leave Nindagully Pub and head to St George to pick up a parcel and get our car serviced. Had the car in for a service and um, they're not overly happy. Stopped off at Surat and played with the fish at the Cobham Co changing station before heading to Roma where we checked out the largest cattle sale yard and what the town has to offer. Also grab our tips along the way. Day breaks and I'm burned by the morning light I make the same mistake more than twice Same song but brand new dance I wear out my third second chance So we're in the River Gun car uh, Caravan Park in St George Just uh, having a bit of a scan around This place was absolutely full packed last night I've got a bit of space there at the moment but it's early yet so anyway, we're just um, outside here. We've uh, come to St George because we needed um, to get our land cruiser service. Let's have a look at the roast veggies there. Check them, they're all good. Um, we came here because we needed to get our land cruiser serviced. It was up for the um, 50,000 K service, even though we haven't done 30,000 Ks yet. Just had the car in for a service and um, they're not overly happy. Put it in, everything was working, just getting a regular service and come back. And um, then had a fault on the mirrors on spot monitoring system when I was about to drive out of the you know, uh, dealer. So I thought I'll, I'll go back in and um, just say, oh, what's this? The end result is that. Um, my mirrors are held in with a bit of cardboard there to stop them, uh, well it doesn't stop them moving around but we had perfectly good mirrors when we went in there and now we've got um, bits of cardboard so they still pull out but Obviously, they are broken. Oops, cardboard fell out. So it is a, as you can see, it's a genuine, a genuine part here. Definitely a genuine part. And you can see the other part in under there, or maybe you can't. So this genuine genuine part here is supposed to go in there so I can drive down the road I can drive down the road towing a caravan with these mirrors in this condition amazing Clearview called and although it was not a repair warranty because that was obvious that it was caused by human error, the damage, not an error of Clearview, Clearview arranged to have a replacement sent to Burpengary in Queensland, that's where we were heading, and have it installed by someone that recommended it for free. They then were going to do all the chasing up with the repairer to get compensation. We, we no longer had to deal with the repairer and did not have to stress anymore about what to do. I cannot recommend Clearview highly enough that I feel that they went above and beyond to understand our situation to make sure that we we're driving legally until we got the mirror replaced and then to take the stress loss off us. Tip 1. There is always a solution to your problems. Being on the road poses a lot of different challenges and some of those challenges are to do with maintenance. It is not ideal when you are in a situation where you need your car or caravan as they are always your means for living. Don't give up easy if you think that you're in the right. We had proof that our mirror worked prior to putting the car in for a service as we take photos of our setup every time we reach a new location and it was in the photo. Don't pay for something that you did not agree on. There is always a solution, it's just a matter of thinking outside the box. This was our major sour experience with St George, but also whilst our car was in for a service, someone camping in the caravan park decided to cut through our campsite with their caravan and run over our solid hose. That's where I get tip number two. 
expect that others will invade your space. You can only hope that others will be respectful as you are, but there are some out there that are not. And what you think is okay, someone else might think opposite and vice versa. We expect that someone driving through our campsite was deliberate, but they didn't either think or didn't care that they would be driving over our hoses, including our silage, which damaged it, squashed it. Be careful when entering other people's sites. Okay, we're in Surat, and look what I have found. Create your own. So we take this picture, and we take it over to this booth here, and then we put the picture down. Press the button. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh. Look how, I want the fishy today. Here we go. There's a kill and joy eats fish. Tip number three check out the kids section. Even though our kids are all adults, we got a kick out of playing with the fish at the information centre. Sometimes I think the kid in us needs to have a little play to bring back that spark of child in us. We are at, now you've got to move out of the way. Surat. 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 Um, between Surat and Surat. 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 Now this is a free camp. A donation camp. Is it a donation camp? Where's the yeah. donation box? Uh, over in the other section. Oh, have you put money in there? No. It's, um, I think it's in the other section. But the information said this was a free camp. Yeah, it is. It's okay. a, 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 I think it's a free camp. Oh. But it's, there's a donation for the fishermen's um, club. Oh, okay. I don't know, like there's donations for the fishermen club or Alright, we better check out this donation box then. So, so I, don't, I don't do this, Bill does this. Bill works out where we're going. And if it's a donation, he's got to put the money in the donation box. Well, it says everywhere it's a free camp. Yeah. The, the fishermen's club have put a donation box there, so... Okay, is that it? past those gates? Yeah, past the gates. Oh, okay. So it's in the other section. There's another section. Alright, so... Uh, uh, Turn around. Information says it's free. There is a donation box here, so not quite sure whether it's donation or not. Um, yeah, we're at uh, 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 Fisherman's. Would you believe a flood's come up here? Hang on, hang on, hang on, I haven't got that. Flood. So, what are you saying? Just don't come in with flood, flood times. January is up this high. I can't believe that would be that high of water. Yeah. Yeah. Looking around now. Alright. So this is a pretty big camp. Well, it's decent enough, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you will have road because the road's road here. Noise. Road's here, so you will have some road noise. Although we've hardly heard the road. The car, the cars, and that everything are meant to slow down because there is a bridge there, and only. One really can be on the bridge at the same time, can it? Well, if there's a truck, you wouldn't want to meet a truck. No. If they go down the middle of the no. road. No, radio ahead. If there's a caravan coming over in a truck, either let the truck through or um, or let them know that you're going through. And there is um, camping on the other side of the road as well. If you want to be away from everyone else. There's a yeah, you can camp on the other side. Over on the other side. Yeah. There's no one camped over there, but... Um, you're allowed to camp fishermen there. Fishermen there as well. Information said you can camp there. Yeah. So, just going to do a wheelie of the campground. Some people have already left. But as you can see, it's pretty much. Plenty of space. Plenty of space. And there's us. Over there. Are, there are people staying here for a few days. Yeah. Some overnighters on a few days. Uh, so, this morning we're off to Roma. 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 
Yeah. Um, no free camping there, unfortunately, but we've got the next best thing. So we will show you when we get to Roma. Uh, come to this path on the uh, side of the road here, coming into Roma. Definitely some interesting sculptures here for sale. Good kangaroo, that one. So we're just going to have a quick look around the uh, sales yard, the interpretive centre here. Sounds like some cows in here. Uh, there's no sales on today. They do tours on. Tip number four, don't dismiss car parks. By now we're getting used to camping in car parks. It is not everyone's ideal area, but if you're on the road full time and need to stop overnight, it makes a great place. This one in Roma was at the bowling club. It was only $10 per night in a town that didn't have free camping and it was quiet. Surprisingly, it was a nice looking car park too. Yeah, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's it for us. That's, that's it for us. We'll see you in the next video. Much Bye. appreciated. Cheers. Bye. Next week, come with us to Yulaba as we stay at Judd's Lagoon, where we check out the local amusement ride. Do you think they look safe? Check out the tracks, discover that they lost more than their traction, and where to find out that the thump against the caravan wasn't Gil hitting it with the car. Also, check out our tips and hacks that we learnt along the way. You would take my breath and I can't get it back Might be time for me to face the facts The best me is with you but I know